Well, hello. Hello, everybody on YouTube land. I've come across a fridge compressor motor. So yeah, I'm going to take it apart and see how much copper I'm going to get out of it. Maybe answer the question, is it worth it or not? I could take that to the yard as it is now and I will get 200 pounds a ton. Metric ton. So 20 pence a kilogram. Let's stick it on the scales. I see a nice little Samsung motor. Um, I've peeled back what I've done for this video. I've drilled a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top. And that's draining out any oil. Normally I wouldn't bother. I would just cut it in half outside straight through. Uh, but I want to gain all over my bench and everywhere. And as you can see there, there ain't a great deal of oil. It's a nice clean oil. And it will be of good quality. And I'll just pour that in my old can. And as they say, waste not, want not. So we've got the scale set up. We're set up in kilograms. I take this and just... 10.2 kilograms. 10 kilograms. 20 pence a kilogram. Two pound. How'd you get in it? Well, I wouldn't normally do this in my workshop. I'd take it outside and with a nine inch grinder, I would just cut all the way around it. But as we're doing it inside the workshop, I'm going to uh, just use a five inch grinder with the slitting discs. Simple enough, you're just going to cut the top off. But try to keep away from the seam. Where the seam is, and from a little bit either side, it's like double the thickness, double the work. Oh, that took no time at all. You're also going to have to cut those two pipes off and then that will just lift off. We used half of a blade and a cup full of uh, grinding dust. This with a little bit of rolly. So just lift off. Snip the wires there. And that's the pump out. On the inside, you're going to have the mounting springs and two tiny stubs of copper, which we'll cut out. The bypass tube, although copper coloured, is magnetic. And the stubs that we cut off can either be copper or copper adjoined to iron tubing. How does it work? Well, that piston is on an eccentric cam. So it, the motor rotates, shoves it up and down. And inside there will be little reed valves that we're as thin as how much copper we're going to get out. The pump assembly is attached to the motor with four 8mm bolts. So I'll just quickly whip those off. Well, I find the easiest way to get the copper out of these is to whiz round with a grinder. We have a choice next. You can do the same that side and then punch them through but my preferred method is to take a big pair of snips get a good grip and bash it off so as we can see we just gain over 1.1 kilograms Well, for me, those results speak for themselves. Started off a motor, weighing straight in, going to get today's prices, 10 kilos, 20 pence a kilo, 
two pounds English money. I've stripped it. I've got 1.1 kilos of copper windings, which still at today's prices are going to fetch around four pound a kilo, four thousand pound a metric ton. So I've doubled my money straight away in that. And I've still got 19 kilos of uh, iron left, and even more again, 100 pounds a ton. I still could be one pound ninety. Making it five pounds, so more than double. That's it for the scrap side of it. But because I've taken it bits, I've got to have a look at this pump. So, if you're only here for the, if you're only here for the money, you can leave now. Let's have a look at this pump. Now it's out of the confines of the uh, the coil. That uh, piston. Is on an eccentric shaft so as I spin them the rotor I spin the rotor it'll push the piston up and down I take the four screws out look at that look at that for a smooth operation scrap wise could also uh, take the aluminium off well let's have a tiny quick recap Compressor motor, 10 kilos. We took kilo, 1.1 kilos of copper out. We've always got some nuts, bolts, screws. Do we want to take the aluminium off the rotor? Don't know. The cap itself off the pump is also cast, iron, cast alley. It goes in the tub, it's something. Yeah, no, I couldn't have left it there. And using Peter's great magnet on a stick I found out that the piston well that bit anyway was aluminium so I cut that off because I cut that off that allowed me to take the piston out which is magnetic uh, but that allowed me then to take out this shaft and that's a lovely a lovely smooth fit and when I took that off I found a nice set of uh, roller bearings on the inside so that led me thinking ah lovely shaft nice smooth close together so i took that off as well and now i'm gonna have to keep that aren't i because i grab that cast iron scrap that you know i'm gonna keep that that's gonna go on some metal art eventually that's it definitely done wiping my hands my iPhone just come up on low power mode. So that's it guys. In my view, well worth checking to bits. Something else in the garage gone. See you in the next vid guys.